Please subscribe Sporta TV for more information. MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. With the meat of his Ducati adaptation now complete, Marc Marquez turned his attention to smaller details in personalizing the setup of the GP23 during Monday's Jerez MotoGP test. That included trying a thumb brake on the left handlebar, which factory team manager Davide Tardazzi described as important for riding the Ducati. Mark has never used the rear thumb brake, while we believe that it is important for riding the Ducati, especially in the acceleration phase for controlling the bike, Tardazzi told SkySport.it. We have provided Mark with enough data to be able to understand why and how to use the motorbike better during acceleration. Fresh from his debut Ducati Grand Prix podium in Sunday race, when he battled world champion Francesco Bagnaia for victory in the closing laps, Marquez was also asked to try a few things for Ducati. With four Grand Prix weekends now under his belt, Marquez felt his feedback on bike changes is now much more definitive, yes or no rather than maybe compared to the preseason outings in Sepang and Qatar. Today was a good day. It was a big difference compared to the tests in Malaysia and Qatar because Malaysia and Qatar I was still trying to understand the way to ride this bike, Marquez said. But today the confidence was there already in the first run. I saw the lap time was already good and then I kept the pace and I was super precise with the comments. I felt everything that we tried in the bike and this is something very important for the future. Because in the previous stage, still I was in the way to adapt to the bike, but now we try things and I was super clever, about, what I need. We make small steps but always learning a few things. Now I start to bring the bike to my riding style a bit and find the compromise. But I know that will be some racetracks that I will struggle more, but some racetracks we will have a very good potential. Marquez set the fifth fastest time at the test, just 0.232s behind the leading lap by VR46's Fabio Di Antonio. On the other hand, Yamaha made the biggest visual impact at Monday's Jerez MotoGP test courtesy of its new aero package. Unfortunately, the difference in performance was more modest and, like a new chassis, generated mixed reviews from riders Fabio Cordero and Alex Rins. Cordero described the aero, which features three planes on the front instead of two, plus a KTM slash Ducati style side fairing, as a neutral feeling, not worse, not better. However, Cordero added that the data did suggest marginal gains and he is keen to see how the fairing works at another track. Rins, who finished the day as the quickest M1 in 14th, plus 0.619 S, admitted the spectacular appearance of the fairing meant he expected to feel a much bigger difference on track. In reality, it was only around a tenth a half faster, but still offered a step forward, and I'm riding in a good way with this aero package. But we can't have it for Le Mans just yet because the engineers need more time. Opinions were reversed regarding the new chassis, also aimed at improving turning, with Cordero feeling a slight benefit but Rins left unimpressed. The aero looked impressive, but Cordero said the chassis was perhaps the single biggest difference he has felt from a new part at Yamaha. But again, it didn't translate to the stopwatch. The new chassis offered a slight improvement on corner entry but not really on the turning. Rins added, I didn't like the chassis that much because I didn't feel better turning. Both items, plus further electronic developments, will be retested behind closed doors before being introduced for a Grand Prix weekend. The list of items we brought here was long, so we had to prioritize the three most important ones, the aero package, the chassis, and some electronic settings, the latter we unfortunately couldn't try earlier, said team director Massimo Marigali. Basically, we went through the testing plan step by step, going over these items. We are always trying to improve the turning with the chassis and the aerodynamics. After Le Mans, we will move on to Mugello for hopefully two more days of testing where we will evaluate all the items again because we want to be sure. We want to test the items at more than one track to avoid making a mistake. If the results of both riders at the private test in Mugello are the same, and they are happy, the target will be to introduce a bike update at the GP round in Barcelona or else in Mugello. Meanwhile, Cordero was acutely aware that his 2022 Jerez race time, for a close second place, was 30 seconds faster than his pace over the same 25-lap distance on Sunday. 
Had he repeated his 2022 race time, Quartararo would have finished third on Sunday, instead of 15th. We are analyzing everything and hopefully we can make something to find the feeling of 22, Quartararo said. Marco Bezzecchi's return to form during qualifying at Jerez continued in Sunday's Spanish MotoGP, finishing third in what was an all-Ducati podium. Bezzecchi made a good start from the middle of the front row as he battled hard with Marc Marquez for P3. It wasn't until 12 laps to go when a mistake at the final corner allowed Marquez to close in, before the eight-time world champion overtook Bezzecchi half a lap later. Speaking after his first podium of 2023, Bezzecchi said, I'm very happy to be here on the podium again. It was a tough end to the season last year with my shoulder injury, but also the beginning of this year with the new bike. I struggled to adapt myself to the bike. Very happy to be here and to be competitive in qualifying, and the sprint I was there. Even though I crashed out and knew my feeling was good. The start was key and it was fun to have a battle with these guys. To fight with Mark and with Pecco who I tried to follow but he was too fast. But with Mark I was able to overtake a couple of times. I'm very happy with the performance. Marco Bezzecchi and teammate Fabio Di Antonio were both beneficiaries of team owner Valentino Rossi being in attendance. And while Bezzecchi admitted having the nine-time world champion was a boost, the improvements made compared to the opening three rounds was a combination of everything, according to the Italian. Bezzecchi said, I think it is a combination of everything. My guys did a great job from the beginning of the year through to today. I also tried to adapt and it was tough for me to get used to this new bike. Compared to last year it was different in a tough way for me. I wasn't confident with the front end of the bike and when you miss the confidence with the front it is really difficult. So it was a combination, but for sure, Valentino gave me a lot of advice during this period and it was good to have him here. Especially for the start, he helped me a lot. But I think it is a mix of everything.